shot. Survivors of a brutal firefight here at Combat Outpost Keating telling their story of an ambush at a remote Mountain Valley base. I made a call and just said, we're taking heavy contact, we need assets. Um, from that point, just tried to fight the fight. A helicopter crew member recalls seeing hundreds of militants attacking. It was just kind of shock to see all the, the amount of flames and the smoke and then uh, to see that amount of personnel. Uh, you know, that were running outside of their wire. Uh, it was, it was really, it was just shock. The White House scheduling another meeting this week, still deciding on a way ahead. Counterinsurgency expert David Kilcullen advises the Pentagon on both Iraq and Afghanistan. I think that the, there, are, there are really two options. We need to do this thing properly, or we need to go home and prepare for the inevitable humanitarian disaster that's gonna happen. Disagreement between the top Republican and Democrat on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator John McCain told John King on CNN's State of the Union it would be a mistake of, quote, historic proportions to reduce the U.S. effort. I think the great danger now is not an American pullout. I think the great danger now is a half measure, uh, sort of a, uh, you know, try to please all ends of the political spectrum. Key Democrats say more has to be done to make Afghans take responsibility. There are ways of showing resolve without more and more combat troops coming from the United States. But for the men from Camp Keating, the only fight is for their buddies' lives. I think the, the best moment that, that told me, you know, what grade of a unit I was in, um, what grade of guys I was working with, was when everyone basically came together and um, in the mix of it all, they were donating blood um, for the wounded that we had. They, they all pulled together to make sure, you know, we can pull our battle buddies out of this. A final decision could still be weeks away. General Stanley McChrystal, the top commander, is still expected to come to Washington before that happens. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.